Hello again YouTube. Uh, this will be the fourth video in the Pong um, clone tutorial series in XNA. Uh, what we're going to cover this video, like I mentioned at the end of the last uh, video in our paddle class setup, is uh, we're going to get some input so the player can move the paddles around. Um, we're going to add the bumpers to the top and bottom of the screen. Uh, they're just graphics, just to give it a little uh, a little more pizzazz, if you wish. And then um, we're going to set our bounds for our paddles so they can't go off the top of the screen or the bottom of the screen. Uh, there's a few changes I want to make first. Um, first change is down here. So you'll be in your game, game1.cs. I noticed that when you, when you run this, um, the player one paddle is a little faded on the edges because of the cornflower blue background. So we're just going to change that to black. So you'll go down here in your, in your game1.cs in the draw function. And uh, instead of cornflower blue, go dot black. And I'll show you what I mean here. Build this and run it. Uh, you can see the paddles a little better. And I think this will work out a little better for what we're doing. Unless you have your own paddles and they're different colors, you can make the background whatever you want. This is just working for the... Oh, uh, and that too. Uh, in the second video, the first paddle um, class video, I re I changed the link so that there's there's I put the wrong zip file in there and there was only the paddles and the ball. Now now the the link has the paddles, the ball, the borders and the and the blip sound effect for when the ball bounces off something. So if you want to re-download that, come back to the video, uh you probably want to do that. <coughs> okay, first uh what we're going to we're going to make a change here and add something to the paddle class. So go to your paddle CS and we're just going to add the code for our update for our update here um, we could have done this in the other video and I didn't think about it um, but basically this is just gonna keep uh, keep the paddle in the bounds of the screen so what we're gonna do is first we're gonna go we'll, we'll comment it keep the paddles from going off the screen so we're gonna have a couple of if statements here so if position dot y less than or equal to 25 then we're gonna go position y equals 25 so what this is gonna do is if uh, since our bumpers that's another thing too we can uh, we'll, we'll add those right now if you read out do download that zip file you should have uh, your bumpers in there. So we're going to add existing items. Right click your Pong tutorial content. And uh, actually yours will be named uh, Pong Clone. I, I redid this project and I renamed it Pong Tutorial, but you can leave yours how it is. So just add an existing item. Uh, bottom bumper and top bumper. You can hold down control and select both of them and add them to your content. And the bumpers are 25 pixels wide. Um, so that's that's the reason for the 25 here so if the position y which is up and down of the paddle is is less than 25 or equal to 25 which is the the, the depth of the bumper then we're just gonna have it stop at 25 so it can't go off the top of the screen and one more if statement if position dot y is greater than or equal to 768 minus 225 which is you know this here is the 200 is the height of the paddle plus the 25 for the bumper and 768 is is the height of my screen so if, if you made your screen a different uh, height than 768 you'll just put that number here and subtract 225 from it then position y is equal to 768 minus 225 and you could very well just subtract 225 from your this number and just put y equal to that too but this is just kind of I'm doing this to demonstrate why we're doing that okay so that's all we're gonna do where this is this is keeping paddles from going off the screen this is all the update functionality we need to do in the player class save that off build make sure everything is kosher and we'll go back to our game one.cs
Okay, in our game one.cs, what we're going to cover next is changing the background to black, which we did. We did the paddles from going off the top and bottom of the screen. Um, so what we're going to do is add those bumpers. Since now we have the bottom and bumper uh, images in our content here, we can go ahead and add them. So what we're going to want to do is set some new textures. And we'll just comment here because we'll at be adding more as we as we go along. So it's going to be a texture 2D. And we'll call this top bumper. And another texture 2D called bottom bumper. And then we can go down to our load content. And we will assign the textures for these. So top bumper equal content dot load texture 2D. And it'll be the name of your top bumper. So it'll be top bumper or whatever. If you ended up renaming it, it'll be the name of that. And then we can just copy this, paste it. bottom bumper and bottom bumper so just like everything else um, we'll want to set the the positions for our top and bottom bumper on the screen so that will be down here and it will be Oh, forgot we do need to set top bumper uh, positions accordingly so the position we want to set them at positions another thing we need to set up, up here because we're going to be setting a lot of these up as well so positions and we will create a vector 2 and that will be we'll just call it T bumper position POS and vector 2 B bumper position for top and bottom that's where we'll where we can assign the positions for our bumpers go back down to your load content so T bumper position will be equal to zero and this is because um, like I, I said when graphics are displaying the screen the position goes from the top left corner of the image so this is going to be the top bumper on top of the screen I made the bumper as long as my um, screen which is 1024 and we just want it to start in the top left corner so it will stop at, start at zero 